everyone, I'm Aliana and welcome to my channel. Today, I will talk about the Google Product Management Certificate courses. I graduated from college a few months ago and I wanted to learn this course for a few reasons. First of all, I want to use the skill in product management on personal project. I have many ideas in mind and I want to turn my ideas into reality. Another reason is that I want to improve my collaboration skills and to prepare for my future work. This includes working in an agile team and use Asana to track things like timeline and responsibility. Another reason is that I want to open up a career opportunity for myself. Although I'm more interested in product design, I think PM is another thing that I'm interested in and I'm willing to try. I completed this product management courses in around three months. And without further ado, let me start with a summary of the course. First thing first, it's not just one course. So this certificate has six courses, Foundations of Project Management, Project Initiation, Project Planning, Project Execution, Agile Project Management, and Capstone. The first four courses are traditional product or project management. The fifth one, which is also much longer than the other courses, is Agile Project Management course, and the Capstone project just put everything together. So for each course, they will have a lot of videos, readings, quizzes, and peer graded assignment. For the videos, they are usually really short. And for the reading, most of them are a summarize of the video and provide you a little bit more resources. For quizzes, you have to pass the quizzes to go to the next section. And for peer graded assignment, it's pretty much you completing an assignment and then you grade two other people's assignment. And two people will also grade you. If you pass, then you'll pass. If you don't, then you do it again. Now, let me take you through the user interface of the course. As you can see here, these are the six courses that I was talking about. And let's go to course five, the Agile Project Management course. So here's how the interface will look. You have videos, readings, discussion prompt, and practice quizzes. Let's just take a look at one of the video. And here I am using 1.25 speed because the speed is usually designed to be slow so that everyone can understand. Let's take a look. Hello, and welcome to Agile Project Management. So far, this program has covered the foundations of project management and what it takes to be a product manager. We've explored the phases of the product lifecycle, initiation, planning, execution, and closing. And we've reviewed lots of different tools and techniques. And this is another thing that I think the course has designed really well which is having really clear slides in the presentation and the videos. You can also see that um, all of the reading and the videos are pretty short. The videos usually are around 10 minutes, usually less than 10 minutes. And the readings has clear links, um, point forms, um, and sometimes just providing you more resources right here. Let's take a look at the practice quiz. So. I'm just going to view feedback for this practice quiz. This is the Agile Manifesto and I got 100%. All of the questions in the practice quiz will be multiple choices. And some of them has just one answer, but others have more than one answers. The biggest difference between the final capstone course and all the other courses is that this one has way too many assignments. As you can see, it almost just started with a peer graded assignment. And in a peer graded assignment, you see an interface like this. There will be instructions on what you will do, scenarios, sometimes materials that you will look through. Actually, there's always materials that you have to look through. And then different steps, and then there will be a submission button. You will submit everything here, and it clearly tells you what will be graded. So if you hit all those points, you should be good. Um, you can also just paste a Google link because everything that you do here, you can make it in Google Doc, um, Google Slides, because it's a Google course. You can make everything on the Google platform. Now, let me quickly show you how I took the course and learn from the course. So the biggest thing that I did is just taking notes. So I have this lifelong learning page on Notion and I record most of my classes that I took here. So this is how my notes look like. I usually just start a different page for each course. Um, let's take a look at the foundation of project management. 
So I just separate my notes by week and just note down some resources and also some definitions that I think are useful. Um, many of these are just copy and paste from the resources. Um, in the tables are another useful thing that I found. So sometimes screenshot. Yeah, this is just how my notes look like. For me, I think taking notes are really helpful, but everyone has different learning technique. So I think you should definitely find another way that suits you better. And here I also did a capstone project resources list. So in the capstone project, you will be looking at a lot of documents and also meeting notes as if the project actually take place in real time. So in the beginning, you will be only seeing things like project proposal, company OKRs, and following that, the project will give you more and more meeting notes in a chronological manner. And this capstone project page just helped me to gather everything together and make me be able to annotate through different things. And for the capstone project, what you would really do is just a series of assignment and things like this close-up report. And your portfolio is just really a series of assignments that you did together with another slides you will create to summarize everything you did. Some other methods that I use while learning this course are first, finding an accountability partner. So I basically just asked my roommate to take the same course with me and we will do around one week of content every day and one week of content in this course probably will take one to two hours but for the last two courses it will take longer than that another tip that I used is pretty much setting the deadline of everything because you know if I stop taking the course for a few days I will lose momentum and I will just stop taking the entire course so I make sure that I take at least two or three weeks of content per week no matter whether I'm traveling, doing this or that, job hunting, taking interviews, it's just always great to learn something every day. Now, regarding what I like about the course, the first thing is the clarity of the video. Every video in all the Google courses are really, really slow, clear, and short. Another thing that I like is the abundant resources that this course provided me, especially the Google templates. Let me quickly run you through a few templates that the course provided. This is the OKR template. This is the success criteria template, stakeholder analysis, project charter, WBS, project plan timeline, budget template, risk management template, communication plan, project plan, project status report, ROAM, retrospective in Agile, presentation, meeting agenda, invitation email, close out report, product backlog, ad estimation, sprint backlog, emails for the release plan, job search. Another thing that I liked about this certificate course is that it consists of the Agile project management aspect. So Agile is really, really important these days, especially if you want to work for early day startups or even large companies. For example, I know a lot of engineers are actually using the Agile project management approach and they will be using tools like Trilos and Asanas and they will have daily stand-up and weekly sprint. And just by knowing how this Agile thing works will benefit you no matter whether you are a PM or simply just a team player in the Agile team. So this Agile course takes you through the basic of why Agile, what's Agile, and also take you through the Asana template that Google will use in their Agile project management approach. Another thing is that this course often uses an office plant company example. So it's kind of like you're working toward a project where your company is trying to sell small office plant to office workers. And you're going through the timeline throughout the course and you're just handling all the challenges while you are being the project or product manager. 
The capstone project is also really helpful. If you are somebody already having a little bit of product or project management knowledge, skills, or background, you might just take the final course or the final two courses, and that will run you through the entire product management process. What I like about the capstone aspect is that it is going through a chronological manner. So each assignment is actually telling you a little bit more about the project. And while you are starting the first assignment, it's like you are just starting the project. But the final assignment will be three months later or two months later. So everything is kind of like a role play of a real project. Now the final thing that I like about the course is the summary in the end. So if you finish taking the entire course, um, especially the sixth one, they will have four cheat sheets in the end of the course, and those cheat sheets just take you through the entire project management process and help you define different terms and provide you a little bit of guidance. Now moving to what I disliked about the course. The first thing I disliked is the flow of the course. But let me just put it out here that the first four courses are so much more easier and slower than the final two courses. Um, especially the first one. The first foundation courses will make you feel like, oh, it's really easy to learn and give you a lot of confidence, but probably make you adopt the course a little bit because it's not that hardcore. The agile course for me took way longer than the other courses. And the final capstone is just way, way longer than the other courses. So for that, I really had to push myself through a little bit. And knowing that, oh, I won't be finished this course as fast as the other courses is a little bit disappointing, but that's the case. So I will just let you know now. Another thing that I dislike about the course is that in the beginning, it tells you that you have a portfolio ready after taking the entire courses. However, I am somebody that has a design background. So for me, a portfolio is the actual website that you can showcase to other people and consists of different projects that you did um, and a thorough run through of the project that looks really good. But for this course, your portfolio is really just a series of assignments that you did and there's little thing that tells you how to actually make a website to showcase your portfolio. So you won't be able to have a website ready or an actual portfolio ready in the end of the course but you will have a lot of assignments ready that you will be able to showcase. Um, just don't skip those assignments, guys. Another thing I want to say is that usually when I post this kind of video, there will be many comments that ask me, hey, would you be able to land a job based on what you learn from this course? And what I want to tell you is that the course provides you the skill. And the experience is something that we have to go out there and look for a project and work on things in the real world. So both the skill and the experience are important, but this course will provide you the skill. I think that's pretty much what I want to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that I motivate you to learn and get a little bit clearer about what this course is about. I post videos on things related to learnings, travelings. So if you like my video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and a comment. And don't forget to invest in yourself. Have a nice day.